Okay, here's where we left off our last movie. We had created a function called func. We have a forward definition and an implementation, and all that it does right now is uh, print a message saying that I'm in the, the function. Okay, so what I want to do now is add a parameter. So I want to be able to pass some information to the function and have the function work with that information. So in this case, I'm going to I'm going to pass an integer parameter. So we have to change our our function definition to say it's going to take an integer parameter. We have to change our function implementation to say it's going to take an integer parameter and we give it a name. And I'm for now I'm just going to call it a. So now I can I can pass an integer a to that function. And I'm going to change my printf statement to also print uh, the value of the parameter that was passed in. So we'll put a percent, we're working with a integer, so we'll put percent D comma A. Okay, so we still have a very simple function. <clears throat> our, uh, our function is called func. And this time it, uh, it takes a parameter, an integer parameter. And in the function implementation, I've called that parameter a. And that, that variable a is now a local variable to that function. It's, it's just like if I had it declared it here, although I can't do that because that would be in conflict. It's declared up here. And because it's declared as an in, the integer a inside my program inside my function func it's going to be a local variable called a that's an integer and I'm, I'm using it right there in my uh, in my function to print it out so um, I'm going to start by just putting a, a number there so I'll call func 12 so let's go ahead and, and build that and see what it does Okay, so I uh, I start the main function and I do a printf starting main and the printf shows up in my output. Then I call func with the number 12. Uh, the function is called. I jump over into the function, passing that integer 12 as the variable a. And inside my uh, function implementation, there's a local variable called a that's been assigned the value 12. So that's how that value is passed into the function. And then I use it in my function. And I'm using it just to do a print statement. Okay, so I can also use a variable in my main. So I'm going to create a variable called a and set it equal to 73. And then rather than just putting 12 there, I'm going to put a. Now, this may seem confusing because I'm using the same variable name, but I, I did it on purpose because I really want to stress a point. Uh, and we're going to have a discussion in class in more detail about what we call the scope of variables. The a in the main function is a different variable than the a in the func. They have the same name, but the a in func is local to func, and the a in, it's a copy. When I when I pass that value, I pass a copy. And uh, we'll see in a sec. First, let's just see that this works. So we'll do build and run. And put these side by side so we can look at them. And sure enough, I set in my main, I set a equal to 73. I pass a into func. Uh, a is an integer, and func takes an integer parameter. Then func runs, and it prints out the value of a. It says, in func, a is, and prints out the value of a. And then I go back into main, and I, I say, finishing main. So now I want to demonstrate what I mean by those being different variables. Okay, so what I'm going to do is... Uh, I'm going to print it out, and then I'm going to change it. I'm going to say a equals 42, and I'll, uh, I'll in func, 
I will uh, print out it again after I've changed it so that we can verify that that's happened. So I'm going to take whatever parameter I get, I'm going to print it, I'm going to set A to 42, and then I'm going to print it again. And then when I return, I'm also going to print the value of A. So let's see, A is... And you know what? I think I'll, uh, oh, I'm going to put a percent D in there. And I'm going to do the same thing before. So starting main, A is, and I'm going to print the value of A. I'm going to call a function. And this time in the function, I'm going to change the value of A, but that's going to be local to the function. And I'm going to come back and be in main again, and we'll see what the value of, of A is here. Okay, so let's, let's build that. And run it, and we've got a more output this time to talk about, so... Let's get them so we can see them both. Okay, so uh, I start my main program. I create a variable, an integer variable called A, and set it to 73. Then I print it out. I print out a message saying starting main A is, and there it is, starting main A is 73. Then I call function func, and I pass it A. So I'm, I'm passing uh, A as the, the integer parameter that goes into func. And what happens is that that a there, that is uh, an expression that gets evaluated. And a evaluates to 73. A copy of that is placed in the stack. Uh, it's passed as a parameter to function func. And function uh, func has created a local variable called a, which is where the which is on the stack of the the uh, function st func stack frame, uh, but it's a copy. It's not the same a that's in main, even though it has the same name. They're totally separate. Uh, the a in main is local to main, and the a in func is local to func. Uh, the a in func starts out being set to seventy three because that's the value that gets passed when it's called. And you can see that the first printf in func uh, prints out the line in func a is and it prints 73, just what, what it was when it was in main. And then the next line in func sets a equal to 42. So I change the value of the a that's local to func. Um, and then the next line I print it and you can see it prints in func a is 42. So now a is changed. And then I return, I go back to main. Now, uh, that A that was local to func was on the, the stack frame. It's gone. It's deallocated. It doesn't exist anymore. Um, and the A that's in main is still the A that was in main all the time that never got changed, and it's 73. And sure enough, it prints out finishing main, A is 73. Uh, press any key to continue. So... I've shown you a couple of things here. The first is uh, just adding a simple parameter. I'm passing a parameter in, and I can do whatever I want with it now that I have it in the function. So this is how I can I can take information and and pass it into a function or give it to a function. So in our uh, in our assignment, we're going to create a function that calculates area. I pass the di diameter in, and then the function is able to calculate the use that to calculate the area of a circle. Uh, so that's the first thing. And then the other thing that we, we talked about or saw here is that it's a copy. So when I pass that in, what I'm passing is a, a copy that goes into a variable that's local to the function. Okay, so that's it for our first look at uh, passing parameters to function.